Que a lo mejor... No, no, porque entre sí. una y otra. ¿Hay una otra que? Pues que sí. Ok, guys, I have arrived. Again, a quick little tour. Peace out, that's me right there in my private bathroom. And this is my room, okay. Okay, so I just arrived in Madrid. It was a bit of a mess right now because there was no one at the reception for like 15 minutes. There was just like no one there until like a woman came back from like her lunch break. <laughs> um, and this room smells a lot like a public bath. As in like, what's the word? Chlorine. That's what it smells like, but I guess that at least means it's clean. Okay, it is kind of very hot in here, so let's turn on the AC. So, let me get ready, and then let's head out. Oh yeah, one more thing. I just realized I have a fridge here. That is super convenient, because I have been wanting to like cook for myself these past few days and in my last hostel i actually did like i went to a supermarket got some food and just ate it but of course since i didn't have a fridge there i couldn't really get a lot of stuff i could only eat i could only get things in the quantity that i was able to eat at the moment because i couldn't store stuff so having a fridge right here is very convenient Okay, so as you can tell, my hostel is literally located within a normal building, which is why at first I had trouble finding it because I was like, eh, where am I? Where do I have to go? But that is kind of cool though. The, the, um, what's the word? The lift is kind of freaky. I had to take it on my way up because my luggage is so heavy, but I'm not taking it right now because first of all, I'm only on the third floor. I can walk. Second of all, it is old and kind of scary and I was kind of afraid I was going to die. So let's take the stairs instead. glorying with sweat but let's not talk about that okay give me a second okay guys i just came back home as you could tell and i did a little grocery shopping so i will give you a little grocery haul because yes even though i'm not like living in an airbnb or like in my own apartment here yet i wanted to take advantage of the fact that i have a um, refrigerator okay so first up we got some cucumbers then we got some cherry tomatoes. I always recommend getting cherry tomatoes over like bigger tomatoes because they are way more flavorful. Then I got peaches for like breakfast. Um, and some carrots. There's a fourth one, but I can't see it right now. And like another peach, like, well, like this is a nectarine, I think. And that's a peach. Spot the difference okay then i got a ton of blueberries like all the fruit i got like to have breakfast here yeah basically that's it and i got some uh spanish um what's it called ham i got some hummus a huge tub of guacamole because i thought instead of getting like just plain avocados and that then trying to buy seasonings here and there like in small quantities i would just get like get like flavored guacamole and make my own avocado toast at home um i got some arugula to like mix into my oh wait you haven't seen that yet into my taboule that's like couscous that's like flavored with vegetables and raisins i will have that today for dinner um Then I got some like um, whole wheat little breads to make avocado toast with. That's the missing carrot. Mm -hmm. And then I got some sweets, kids. Come on, right? Uh, I got some muesli bars to have on the go, to have for breakfast, something like that. I felt like getting them. I got some Kinder Bueno, it's been a while since I had them and I saw them. It was so funny, they had them in like those huge plastic, like hard plastic 
container thing is basically so, so that you cannot steal them. I've never seen candy being like secured, like secured as hard as that in like supermarket. Okay, so that was that. That came out to a total of uh, 25 euros. I think I could have gotten everything um, more cheaply if I had gone to like a Lidl or like a kind of like discount discount uh, supermarket but this one I went to uh, Carrefour uh, and I think it's more like of an upscale one but only when I was already checking out I thought like oh I could have also gone just like to another supermarket but I think considering uh, I got all of this food for like a couple of days that's actually a decent price because yeah I will have my dinner with that today and like I want to eat my breakfast of the next couple of days with these foods and then I have like these snacks so that should be fine Okay, so let me store all of that in my little fridge. Wait, oh shit, this isn't on. Oh gosh, I, oh my god, I pray to god I can turn this on. I bought all this food thinking I could, f oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Um, wait, do I, st oh maybe I just have to, oh. I think I only have to plug it in. That would be the e easiest way possible. Okay, wait a second. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's just a plug. Yeah, come on. Okay, wait. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna t like put everything in, pray this cools down and yeah, it's gonna work for sure. Oh yeah, the light is on now, I think, so it should be fine. My tabule. This is even fit in here. My big ass guacamole. Um. Now, my fruits and vegetables, they should actually be fine outside of the fridge, but... It's gonna be more yummy if I pull them down. Always open bags like this up. At least I like to do that to like literally let the leaves in there breathe. Otherwise, they like tends to like liquid water tends to gather inside. And I think that's kind of disgusting. So. Oh, what else? What else? Mm -hmm. With like the peaches, it's actually quite good if I leave them outside for a couple more days or like until I eat them because they're a bit hard still. Okay, I think I should be fine like this. Good morning, guys. It is now my first full day in Madrid yesterday. I mean, you saw the clips, I just arrived, basically just stayed in my neighborhood, did that grocery shopping, and other than that, to be honest, I basically just stayed in my room because I, I don't know, I, I felt kind of tired and I needed some time to recharge, but today we're going at it again, though the weather today is actually not that great, it's going to be kind of overcast and thunderstormy, at least around midday, so what I have planned for today is right now we're going to head out to a coffee shop, I already had some water and some blueberries right here, but now we're gonna get, grab like a coffee, maybe like a little treat, cause you know, always get a treat to keep your coffee company, that's what I say. Um, and then I'm gonna buy a ticket for a movie. I am so excited. Um, I will go and see Jungle Cruise today. Now that might seem kind of random, but you have to know about me that I cater this insane, ridiculous love for the movie Jumanji starring also Dwayne Johnson and now this movie uh, I, I don't even want to say that it sounds like it but it's Dwayne Johnson in the jungle and that's basically all I need or, no but honestly it sounds like a lot of fun or at least I have high expectations because it sounds at least Jumanji adjacent so dude I'm ready for this to be my next favorite thing but we'll see so yeah, I'm gonna watch that movie during the time of the day when it's supposed to be thunderstorming. So I'll be tucked in a movie theater and that's gonna be cool. Um, besides that, I want to hit a museum, the Museo del Prado. 
Um, and other than that, we're gonna see what we get up to. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna wing it like I wing everything on this channel, um, depending on what the weather's like, etc. Okay, but now let's head out, go get some breakfast and my movie theater ticket. Um, I'm gonna take this little tool bag with me. I'm gonna bring the new book I will start today. I finished my last book yesterday and I did not really enjoy it, but I'm gonna talk about that in my July reading wrap up. Um, other than that, I'm bringing like a little sweater because you know how in uh, movie theaters they crank up the AC, so you're usually pretty cool in there. I'm gonna take my reusable bag with me because like yesterday when I went grocery shopping, I had forgotten this, so I had to get like a bag and that was so stupid. So from now on, I'm always gonna carry this around, even though because I went grocery shopping yesterday, I'm not gonna go grocery sh shopping today and I know that, but still I'm taking her with me. Plus, um, I'm also taking along my mini umbrella because it's supposed to be raining. Maybe I will need it at some point. Okay, that's pretty much all we need though. God, guys, it is the last day of July. Today, it's the 31st. And I just realized while I was getting ready that July was like the first month of this year that felt like a full month, at least to me. Like all the other months, they kind of just flew past. Like, January, February, March. Honestly, I have no recollection of these months. They went past so quickly that now when I remember where I was or what I did at the beginning of this month, at the beginning of July, I was still visiting my friend in the middle of nowhere. Um, and then in the meantime, I finished my semester. I had a... Oh shit, there's a dude right there. Ooh. Anyways, uh, I finished my semester. I had so many assignments to hand in. I had an exam. All my career plans went down the drain and now i'm here in spain like actually quite a lot of stuff happened so i'm excited about that anyways now where's my mask we're gonna head out Oop, come along You guys, I'm just coming out of the museum. You were not allowed to take any pictures or videos in there, so unfortunately I couldn't show you around, but as you can tell, the sun came right out as I exited through the museum. And yeah, I decided to go to the museum first and now go to like the coffee shop and the um, cinema because they're like right next to each other and that way I'm not like pressed for time and like having to go back and forth. So um, let's go get some food. Okay, so 
friends, I just finished coffee number two together with like a little treat. And now on my way to the cinema, the movie's gonna start in 30 minutes. So I'm going to grab my ticket now and then, yeah, let's watch a movie. It's been a while. Okay guys, I just finished my movie. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to talk about it. I might... I think I'm gonna make like a separate video about it, recommending similar movies and books like that movie I just watched, Jungle Cruise. Right now I'm just strolling through the streets. Um, there is a destination we're aiming at, a bookshop. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting a feel of the city by walking the streets. Like the the quarter I'm in right now, I like a lot. Like if I stay in Madrid for a longer time, I could definitely imagine maybe settling down in this neighborhood. There are a lot of really cool places around. Um, but yeah, for now, let's, let's take a look around. Good morning guys, it is yet another day. I'm sorry, I know I have not done a very good job at like vlogging or showing you clips of the city. I'm basically just talking in front of the camera myself, but I figured since I will be moving here in like a couple of days, I will show you enough of the city, but like when I do that. So I hope that's okay. Uh, we are now about to head out. Today my plan is, like today is my last full day here. And it is my plan today to literally walk all over the city because um, I want to take like one last look at like every part of town, every, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course I'm staying like in the main area, but I want to look at the different parts of town to figure out in which area I would like to stay long term. So that's the plan. Also, you might be thinking, what is this girl doing? It is the 1st of August and she's literally wearing a sweater in Madrid. I am because I'm heading out quite early and yet it is only 16 degrees so that's not celsius so that's not very warm so I'm putting this on right now but I'm taking my bag with me so if I get too hot I can just well take it off anyway so let's head out I hope I can get a couple of more clips for you today fingers crossed So yesterday I already came to the Royal Palace and I have been kind of surprised that like what I thought was the front did not look as spectacular as I would have expected of a Royal Palace. But then only back at home I realized I only saw like the side view and this, this is the front entrance. It's okay, it's okay. There are people already queuing up. Ooh, maybe it's opening at 10. I had not planned on actually going inside, but now that I'm here, hmm, maybe let's see how much it costs. That's what it's dependent on. Oh my god, bitch, I'm getting in line. I just checked online and apparently for students <clears throat> such as yours truly, it is fucking free. So um, let's see if that's true. Okay, change of plans. The line was somehow not moving at all for ticket for people who still had to buy tickets. And my friend is gonna call me in like 20 minutes. So, I mean, if I'm gonna stay here for a couple of weeks anyways, I can just go literally anytime. Like, it's not like from tomorrow on, it'll cost me something. So I will just go another day. That's completely cool. And now the sun just came out. So I will take some more pretty pictures.
they turned the street into a pedestrian area which is why you can walk in the middle of the street but to be honest it feels it still feels kind of wild <laughs> and obviously they have not turned off the traffic lights yet so it makes it seem even more freaky but i'm not the only one this is a real thing i'm not risking my life right now <laughs> Okay guys, after all that walking, you know what time it is. It is time for an afternoon coffee break. I got my book, a coffee shop is laying straight ahead and I need this.